I'm Maria Sorrell. And I'm Liz Brown Swanson. And you're watching Around the Peninsula. And thanks for joining us today on Around the Peninsula. I'm Maria Soraya. We are here at the 2024 Palos Verdes Peninsula Street Fair and Music Festival. That's right. I'm Liz Brown Swanson, and you've got to be sure, Maria and I never miss this year after year. It is really one of the biggest celebrations in our community all year round, and we love it. We love it. And Liz, not just <laughs> people from our community, but really the, the, all of Southern California come to the street fair. It's one of the biggest and best. And there's always something for everyone. That's what I love about it. Of yes. course, it is run by the Chamber of Commerce, yes. all to benefit for the Chamber of Commerce as well. Right. So you can, it's just win-win. And I have to say, Maria, we've been here when it's been, you know, hot, whatever. And I think this is actually your perfect day for an event like this. It's I think just, so it's, too. You know, people are really enjoying the uh, weather today. It's lovely. Yeah, not too hot, not yeah, too cool, exactly. just really nice. And there's so much to do here from shopping and great food. And we're going to talk all about that. But first, we are going to catch up with Kathy Johnson from the Palos Verdes Peninsula Chamber of Commerce. She's going to talk about sponsors who they really could not do this event without and just all things street fair. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Here on the hill, speeding is on the rise. And speeding kills. Do you know how speeding starts? When you're running late and in a hurry. When you get into an argument and then get in the car. When you have had too much to drink. When you're joy riding. All of these are how speed starts. So next time, make a better choice. Leave early so you can enjoy the ride. Don't get in a car when you're angry. Take a walk instead. And never get behind the wheel when you're intoxicated. Call a friend or a ride share. And remember, street racing is dangerous and deadly, so don't do it. So slow down, RPV. So slow down, RPV. So slow down, RPV, and enjoy the ride. This public service announcement is brought to you by the Lameda Sheriff Station and RPV TV. We are back and now joined by Kathy Johnson from the Palos Verdes Peninsula Chamber of Commerce. Kathy, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for being here. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being here. Isn't Absolutely. it a great time? Yes. <laughs> We always have a great time at the street fair, and this is a great time for you, Kathy. She is the membership chair for the Palos Verdes Peninsula Chamber of Commerce. Yes. And she's going to tell us how you could become a member. Absolutely. Well, it's easy as pie, really. Okay. You know, like pie we have here. Yeah. But it really is. <laughs> you know, you can get all the details on our website, palosverdescchamber.com. Okay. Um, we have all kinds of activities and events and opportunities for local businesses to connect and resources for them. So if they go to the website and um, just click on membership, it'll give you all the benefits. I'm also happy to get on a phone call with anybody, answer See. all questions, come into the office and schedule a time to meet, and I can share with them how it can really help their business and growth and potential. And, and you know, it's interesting too because we do a lot of shows about new businesses here and on the Hill and we love working with you guys because you guys are the best chamber anywhere, honestly. So We think so. Yeah, I think <laughs> you guys do a great job. And I know you work really hard all year to put all of this together. It takes, it takes a village, but it takes all year. Um, and you have so many sponsors that help out too. Just talk about that. Yeah, we do. We've got some really great sponsors. Um, Providence Little Company Mary is one of our key sponsors. They're here today at the fair. We so appreciate them. And of course, the two big shopping centers here. Yes. The, the Promenade here, PV is a big sponsor for the event as well as Peninsula Shopping Center and Great. we couldn't do this without them. No. Right. Um, and I know, you know, you've been involved with the community for a long time and um, the idea about shopping local, we all know how important it is. What do you think makes this community so unique in terms of the businesses that are here and, and, and to motivate people to continue spending here? You know, I was born and raised here, and that's, that's <laughs> it, right there. You know, I have went to all the schools. You know, we are a very special community, mm -hmm. and I think it's important to shop local and support our local businesses so they stay on the hill as well. Absolutely. You know, we are very lucky to have so many amazing businesses, not only retail, but um, but other types of businesses as well. The restaurants, the all of it, right here. Yeah, and, very true. Yeah, shopping very true. local is key. Yes. We're getting really excited to shop around the street yes. fairs. Always, what do you enjoy about this? Yes. What is some of your like? To it's your what's, favorite what's thing. What's on your street fair to do <laughs> yeah, list? Exactly. Because you're organized. Right, so she right. has a to do list. Yes. Well, the shopping <laughs> is definitely key. I've already had my eye on a couple of things. <laughs> of course. But you know, it's funny. I texted my daughters, who are now 29 and 31, yesterday, and I said, "You'll never guess where I'm going." Because <laughs> it was teen night last night. Yes, time, right? absolutely. And, you know, that's a big deal. It's, yes. it's a community thing, and so it's really fun to watch the kids come out and the families. It's 
such a family community event. To actually see that is a really great thing. You know, so. it's funny, Liz was mentioning about her kids coming to the street fair, and mm -hmm. I remember the year that Alex was here, and he made friends with Eileen Hopp, and they were <laughs> traveling around on the golf cart through the entire street fair, so you run into everybody here. And yeah. not to give my son Alex a plug, but <laughs> as a grown adult now, in his He's working a life, he joined the chamber. That's he right. It was a good thing to do as yes. a young adult, and along with the fact that the benefits of being a member, I mean, there's so many ways that you do work with the community, yes. you, whether it's on legislation that's important, I mean, the list goes on right. and on, yeah. that would affect the business community. We should, we're probably going to let you go to keep, yes, you, you're, oh, so you're keep a it moving. There's a few more things to do. Yes, just a few. <laughs> All right, Kathy, thank you so much for spending some time with us, oh, and thank uh, you. enjoy the fair. Thank you. All right. And with that, you know what that means? We got to go out and keep bopping around to catch up with all of our, our street club fan club up there. Let's Whatever do it. Let's do it. Fitchett here, and uh, I am in charge of the entertainment here at the P uh, Palace Verde Street Fair, and it's going to be a great weekend. We are putting an emphasis on local bands this this week. So, besides having the dance companies, we have all uh, the ballet, the tap dance, and the Irish dance, etc., etc. I don't have it memorized; it's right here in my hand. If anybody asks, but uh, and then we're going to have uh, great bands on uh, today. We're going to have Ten West. Well, well, let's start with School of Rock, one of our main sponsors of the equipment on the stage over there. Backline, all the drums and everything. And, uh, and then uh, uh, there's a, a House of Music, um, from, it's in the, also uh, in, in, the, in the Peninsula Center here. And, and then 10 West, local band. This band called Mark Fitchett, uh, I've heard they're okay. And then we're going to close with PT and the Cruisers tonight, which is also a local band doing 80s rock and roll dance music. Tomorrow we'll have a local blues band, a uh, rock band called Nasty Bad Habit. If, you have, if you're going to have a Nasty Bad Habit, they're the ones. And then ending off with um, Soundscape, which played here last year. It's a 10-piece band. What's really great about the entertainment scene is that we have so much different variety of music and we always try to bring in interesting and new people. Although I know sometimes we, we like a band a lot so they might come more than once. But we just try to make it exciting and interesting and danceable for the people that like to dance. And I think we've done it again this year. We will see. Terry and this is Love on Four Paws. We're a group of volunteers with their dogs. Uh, we don't get paid anything and we go to different hospitals and schools and events to uh, just make people feel better. Um, we had a lady come by just a few minutes ago that said when she was in the hospital she really enjoyed having the dog come and visit. I'm Carol. This is Blossom. She's a three-year-old Australian Shepherd. Here you go, Jim. All right. Oh, thank you. Is it? Uh, my name is Jim Kelly, and I've been with the uh, group for about five years. This is Maya. She's a nine-year-old golden retriever, and um, she loves her job. And what we really enjoy is going to the hospitals and seeing the nurses, because <laughs> they are fabulous and they are so happy. To so she's made a lot of friends. I'm now being joined by the chair of RPV's Emergency Preparedness Committee, James Sprinkle. We're at the city booth. 
This is about fun at the street fair, but also about educating the community. Talk about your messaging here today at the street fair. Absolutely. Um, it's very nice being here and our opportunity to educate everyone as we can to make sure they are prepared in the event of emergency on the peninsula. We really try and stress a couple things. The first being making sure they receive alerts to emergencies if they happen uh, around the peninsula. So that's anything from accidents to fires and floods, uh, earthquakes. And in the event of an evacuation, they need to know how to get off the peninsula. Your normal route off the peninsula might not be the safest route. So that's why we really stress to know your zone in order to make sure that they have the best information in order to get off the peninsula uh, in the event of an evacuation. All right, anything you want to add about this having this booth here and uh, come down to the street fair, but also get on our city website, right, to learn more about emergency preparedness. Absolutely, get on the emergency uh, uh, preparedness uh, page on rpvca.gov, uh, as well as uh, download the My RPV app. It'll also have a, a link to emergency preparedness. Uh, things that emergency preparedness, we want to make sure we're prepared. So that means that we want to have emergency preparedness kits. We want to have evacuation kits. We want to know how to stay uh, safe at your home in the event of an emergency. And then if an emergency happens, we want to make sure we're getting the right information on um, how to keep ourselves and our family and friends and neighbors safe. So with Amy, who just played a wonderful set with the PV Symphonic, you've been part of this orchestra. Talk a little bit about you know, being part of this group and what it means to you. For about 25 years, I've been able to be a part of this band. And being a mom, it gave me an outlet to explore my music, which I missed in my heart. We bring so much joy to so many people and so many different activities. Fourth of July, uh, concerts at the Botanic Gardens here at the Street Fair. For many years, we've participated here at the PV Street Fair. You said you're playing at the, P the PV Symphonic Band will be at RPV's 4th of July Festival. What do you love about this event? This event, look how many people come out from all over the hill and it's a wonderful place to gather and we want to keep this PV Mall going too because it's ups and downs but we love it here. Look how fun to be outside. I'm smelling the kettle corn. I'm ready for that after working so hard playing the wonderful music. Uh, interacting with the children today has been a real treat. I love children. I've got small children of my own. And any opportunity that I get to engage them and really humanize uh, law enforcement, uh, I'm happy to get that and, and do that. It's been a real treat. Uh, I've been showing them uh, basically my patrol car and some of the various equipment uh, that I have here. Um, I've been showing them our utility vehicle here. I've been showing them uh, you know, our helmet and our gas mask and radar LIDAR and explaining how these tools help us to do our job so that they're not afraid of them when they see them deployed in the public. We've been coming probably for over 25 years. Um, we came last year with John for the first time because we were out of town the couple years before that and he loved it and he was really looking forward to this day. Like he could not wait to come to the fair this year, huh John? You were yeah. so excited? Yeah. yeah. John, what are the fun things you like to do? And I know you're going into kindergarten and that's pretty exciting too. I, I play a lot there. I do fun project. I, I draw um, Abraham Lincoln and George Washington. You're so busy. And did that was so which did you like which was funner to go inside the sheriff's car or to go on the UTV behind you? I, yeah. I think you loved the sheriff's car because you got to do a little siren thing. I've just found Susan Raymond, who's here to help out Peninsula Seniors at their booth, and you brought a helper today. Oh, absolutely. I brought our puppy Bijou, our little Yorkie. She was here last year, and she drew a lot of people to the booth. And uh, we had a lot of fun last year, and we'll do the same this year. And what we're offering is an $80 um, free membership. If you sign up with us, we'll have a chance drawing later on today. All about Peninsula Seniors. Susan, uh, what do you so much enjoy about this street fair and your organization? Uh, because we can uh, see all the businesses, meet all the people, and interact with everyone. It's a community collaboration that we love. And of course, Peninsula Seniors, we like to get out and about. We encourage them not to stay in their homes and be alone. We want them to get out and about. And they love walking around the fair today and tomorrow.
Chamber of Commerce for always organizing this wonderful tradition here in Palos Verdes. My name is Al Marasucci, proud to represent Palos Verdes in the California Legislature, and I'm proud to join all of the mayors and council members, all of our, our first responders, all of our local leaders who make Palos Verdes such a great place to live. Thank you very much. The city of Rancho Palos Verdes, Mayor John Cruikshank. <laughs> and council member Dave Bradley. The Palos Verde Street Fair, what a great time to, for everybody to come out in the community. It's always so great to see everybody post-COVID be able to come out, uh, have some food, have a drink, go on the rides, some, look at some of the shops. Um, just a great time. Uh, we just got done having the uh, all the elected officials up on stage. Uh, great time for all the Peninsula cities to come together, show solidarity, solidarity um, as we uh, have come out of the pandemic. A great time. Thank you to everybody that has come out and is going to come out this weekend. So today, once again, here in 2024, we're having the annual Palos Verdes Peninsula uh, Fair and it's here in the city of Rolling Hills Estates, but honestly, all four cities are celebrating the businesses and the activity that goes on. You know, of course, we're here today to support the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we want to support the community. We're, behind me, you see the bandstand. There's going to be music going on all day today and tomorrow. Please come out if you're seeing this, and if you're seeing this after the fact, make sure you come out next year because it's really important to support our community. Of course, our entire city council does, and uh, it's businesses that make our community great. We are back. Now, Liz, what is your favorite thing about the street fair? Well, like we were saying earlier, for one, just bringing our community together. It's and I'm saying that because I've been bringing my kids here. They're all I know, now. right? So many amazing memories. I always enjoy the music. One of my, you know, some of my favorite tribute bands are right here. Right. And you're getting it all for free. Yes. And and you've got this incredible setting. And then, of course, when we're listening to music, we're usually eating funnel cake or something like I know, that. So or I love something good, kettle corn. Or... How about you? What do you what do you like to take in? You know what? Well, I do always look forward to the shopping because they have so many unique things here to buy, right? right. I mean, that's always super fun. And where else can you get kettle corn? Yeah. You know me. Our, it's either the Street Fair 4th of July or well of a day. Some of our best accessories <laughs> have come from the yes, Street Fair for exactly. sure. exactly. And what's nice is you also know when you come, you're shopping local. And we yes. say this all the time because so here we are right in the middle of, you know, mm -hmm. the peninsula, some of our, you know, we've got the promenade and right. the peninsula and shopping the peninsula, center. Yep. And we really want to support local. We do. And keep, you know, keep keep our economy strong here on the hill, and that's what we do. Which is so and important. you get local vendors too that are usually from right around the area. Right, which is nice, absolutely. Plus, I love seeing the animals. Like we, were, my niece is here with me, and we saw the horses, and I told her there's rabbits and llamas, and I love the petting zoo. It's yeah. so much fun. And I always have nonprofits. I mean, it's really yes. a little bit of everything, mm -hmm. and it's just a beautiful setting. And I think we just just to get out and about. We need to it's do really, that more. Yes, you're right. Good exercise, to, just to walk the whole area, and so there's other things here as well we were talking about pony rides and petting zoo that's always fun and then Liz last night was teen night and all the teens come out for the carnival rides yeah which is super fun the not, games right we want to keep our kids safe in a mm -hmm. great environment and this yes. is something that I think I knew my kids as teenagers they look loved it. And they're like you're just dropping us off right yeah <laughs> exactly yeah, you're not staying kind of mom thing. right but you know we've seen it evolve you remember in the early years did they didn't have the music fest component like it is now right and but we are getting a reputation from all over Southern California that this is the street fair that's unique, special, and so you'll find RPV TV running around. And Liz, not only that, but you talked about tribute bands, but this year they have a lot of local bands as well and dance performances by some of the kids in the school. So it's always really great because you get such a wide array of things, yes. you know, which is super fun. So I know we haven't figured out, we haven't taken the time out yet to start eating our, our, I know. our regular eating items, our way like through the funnel cake. We eat our, we eat, I said to me, you're joking, like, we have to stop eating the day before to prep for this. <laughs> we <laughs> do. It's and, all yummy. And sometimes they have like that fried Oreo cookie, things you would never really get anywhere else but the street fair. So mm -hmm. yes. it's always just fun and delicious. And yeah, like you were talking about some of the booths here. We have a booth here, the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. And um, you know, the fire department has a booth here, the sheriff. So you can really learn a lot about this entire area coming to the street right. fair. And our local leaders fun. will be here yes, as absolutely. always. And also to say a big thank you to the Chamber of Commerce. Absolutely. As you know, we've you know been hearing from people from the chamber. They work all year round. This is their major fundraiser. Right. And uh, it also, again, all to really promote business too. It's really true. So, Liz, you never know who you're going to run into here at the street fair. So, um, 
Should we take a look? Let, let's go out and talk with the people.
as always, it's super fun to be here with you. It is great, and uh, another street fair, and I guess, you know what that means? We just have to look forward to 2025. To next year, yes. absolutely. All right, thanks so much for being with us. I'm Maria Soreo. I'm Liz Brown Swanson. Have a great day out there, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you around the peninsula.